What do you know about the ocean cleanup? The ocean covers more than 70% of the surface of our planet. More than 80% of the ocean has never been explored or even seen by humans. The ocean is a fundamental part of our planet and ecosystem. Despite this, one estimate states that between 1.15 and 2.41 million tons of plastic waste is dumped into our oceans every year, mostly coming from rivers around the world. Here's an example of the problem we face. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a collection of marine debris spanning from hundreds of miles off the west coast of North America to Japan. Scientists believe this area contains 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic, 88,000 tons, floating on the surface, causing a massive disruption to marine life and the entire ecosystem. The Ocean Cleanup is a nonprofit organization founded in the Netherlands in 2013 by 16 year old Boyan Slat. Their long term goal? to develop technological solutions to rid the world's ocean of 90% of floating plastic by the year 2040. Boy and Slat presented the ocean cleanup idea in 2012 at a TEDx conference. In 2013, scientists and engineers began researching the problem of plastic distribution, including technological approaches that might offer solutions. The Ocean Cleanup created a tool called a multi-level trawl, which allows researchers to collect data on microplastic in the ocean. Different extraction systems were developed and tested, and this conveyor belt system was built into a full-scale prototype. This prototype became the tool for the first river cleanup. In 2016, the Ocean Cleanup performed an aerial expedition to find the weight and size of the garbage problem. In 2017, this system was tested in a river in South Holland. After numerous design modifications, tests, and improvements made in Indonesia during 2018, they deployed an updated version to Jakarta in 2019, which proved the interceptor to be operational. In September of 2018, System 001, the first ocean cleanup system, was launched to get tested in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Showing the team what changes needed to be made, they later developed a system named System 001B, where they applied the research they gathered from System 001. System 001B caught the first group of ocean plastic and became the core model for the ocean cleanup. In 2020, the Ocean Cleanup was able to recycle the ocean plastic they collected from this exercise and create the Ocean Cleanup sunglasses, made entirely from recycled plastic. In July 2021, a large-scale garbage cleanup program ran for 12 weeks and again was found very successful. This found System 002 to be very successful and proved that the technology developed has been found to be very consistent and reliable, giving the team promising results for the current development of System 003. Promising to go completely carbon neutral, the goal of the ocean cleanup is to deploy 10 ocean cleanup systems every five years in hopes of reducing the amount of plastic waste in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The effects of plastic pollution in our oceans on the environment have been detrimental and irreversible. Seeing positive efforts from organizations such as the Ocean Cleanup provide us with real life successful stories and the hope that we can one day restore our ocean and ecosystem back to the way it should be. By bringing light to the severity of plastic pollution and developing technologies to initiate positive change, the Ocean Cleanup has shown the world that it is not too late to solve a problem. My name is Tiffany Stitz, and I hope their work to address the problem will inspire others to help take part in the solution.